hopefully sooner than later it becomes cool to like do stuff that that's positive for the environment you know i hope it becomes cool to like not buy new clothes all the time you know like that's my that's my hope that especially with young people like us as a generation like we this this ultimately regardless of what you want to believe this is this is becoming our problem and we as a generation we are the ones who are ultimately going to have to take on this great burden um, and i think we can do it I this is a hard video man this is a hard hard video to make i just recorded a lot of stuff and i'm going to restart because I, I don't feel like i said that very concisely this is this is a difficult video to kind of explain everything in uh let's let's first start off with about three years ago, I made a video on Amazon, like the big corporation when they acquired Whole Foods and stuff. And I used to make a lot of videos back then kind of talking about the world. And I, I wanna get back into that because, well, unfortunately this video is about the Amazon, the Amazon rainforest. And I'm sure you guys have heard by this point, um, obviously what's going on. If you haven't heard, basically the uh, Amazon rainforest is being deforested at very alarming rates due to illegal and basically illegal but not really illegal because Bolsonaro, the Brazilian president, is basically supporting it because it helps the economy. Uh, we'll get back to that in a second. But the Amazon rainforest, I'm sure you guys have seen pictures. Um, I'll leave some articles down below if you want to learn more, but I'm sure you all have heard of this. But it's being deforested at very alarming rates. Uh, the Amazon rainforest is one of the most important parts of the world ecosystem. These are very basic facts, but it does not change the fact that this is a huge, huge deal. And it also does not change the fact that this is not the only big world problem that we have related to climate change. Like this is just the, the most recent one that's come to the forefront of public attention. And I'm very glad that it has. And part of this video is to get that word out even more because um, it doesn't make it any less of a big problem, you know, and I'll leave some links down below. I donated to a couple of organizations. Um, one I think is really good. Uh, they help raise, basically conserve uh, rainforest worldwide. Um, it's not just, again, it's not just the Amazon rainforest. Um, that's, that's a problem. Rainforests everywhere are being threatened. Um, and one of the biggest reasons they're being deforested, if you guys are curious, another small thing you can do is a lot of it's being deforested for beef consumption. So uh, maybe if you guys are, are wondering something you can do, you could consider uh, eating a little bit less beef, you know, maybe for like the rest of your life, if that's something you're into. I stopped eating beef uh, a couple years ago. Um, I don't plan to start again. I feel great. I still eat chicken and, and turkey sometimes, but um, that's one thing if you guys are wondering what an immediate thing you could do is is stop stop eating some beef and maybe, you know, long term that might that might help out a little bit. Um, but that's really what it comes down to, man. And that's what this video is, is really about, as concisely as I can say it, is that if you guys ever heard of the free rider problem, basically it means that when there's problems that are so broad and so um, so diluted and spread across the world that every single person doesn't feel like their individual actions will have an impact. That's the problem with climate change is that it's such a big issue and it's spread out across the entire world that no one, no one person feels like they'll have an impact, you know? Like every time you leave the water running a little bit longer, you throw away some extra trash or you don't recycle, you know, you just kind of throw it all in the trash. By the way, man, some restaurants really need to get recycling back. Like I was at a Chipotle recently and they didn't even have a recycling bin, dude. That like, that really set me off, man. I was like, come on guys. Like I know even recycling is not very efficient, but not even having a recycling bin is pretty pathetic these days. Um, but that's what it comes down to, man. It's all that small stuff, you know, and it never feels like a big deal because ultimately and you know i'm i'm very guilty of this but like i'm in a position i'm sure many of you watching this video are where you'll be one of the last people affected by climate change you know i mean especially in your lifetime you know probably things won't be too bad if you're you know you live in the u.s you have money or even if you live anywhere else but as long as you have like you're able to even watch this video probably means you'll be okay right but that's that's not to say that this is not literally this decade between like 2015, 2025 is gonna be such a pivotal era, pivotal, pivotal, I can't say that word, man. And we all have a part to play in this. That's just the reality. And the reality is that we we need to figure out how to, how to get people to realize that this free rider problem is basically gonna screw us all over. And that every small action that every person does not. You'd be amazed, man, how small actions made by a lot of people can have such a radical impact. And the opposite is also true. Small inactions by a large group of people can have a vastly severe negative impact. And that's the reality. That's what's happening right now. You know, and it's it's very sad and I'm not even gonna jump into this, but uh, climate change in some ways has become, it's like a political issue. 
It's like this. I'm not even going to entertain the possibility that this is a political issue. This has nothing to do with politics. This has nothing to do with politics, you know? And what we're really fighting now is a war on like belief in climate change and a war on like, should we even take action, you know? And that's not where we need to be right now. And I'm, I'm guessing the majority of you watching this video understand that. And I think the majority of people do, but that might not necessarily be true. You know, and I think that's another reality is that it's actually a much less widespread, like general consensus that we need to do something about this than you might think. Uh, because especially for a lot of people in the world, man, there's a lot more immediate things that they're thinking about than climate change for good reason, you know, like feeding their families. Um, and, and that's probably what a lot of these people that are deforesting part of the Amazon forest are worried about, man. They're worried about feeding their family. Like they got to work, they have a job, like, and that's, that's the sad reality of the situation is that like, you can't blame the people that are destroying the rainforest. And you also can't put all of the blame on the politicians and the billionaires and these people. Obviously that if the, if the political arena and, and the circle of influence were pushing in a positive direction, it would definitely make a difference. 100% would make a difference. Um, the fact that we're in a, a political area right now where it's like, again, we're, we're trying to fight the battle and belief of climate change is horribly, horribly in the wrong direction. But I mean, even if we had government structures that were all pushing in a positive direction, which I hope, I, I hope happens at some point, because the reality is that we're almost at a point, and I think we will be pretty soon, and this is my opinion, but we're going to reach a certain... Is this another Makehouse Unicorn, dude? What is going on, man? That's crazy. Okay, anyways, um, serious video. We're going to reach a point where, like, elections and stuff, like, the only social issue that we should probably care about um, starting, I mean, probably starting now, but realistically starting, like, in 2025, is literally climate change. Like, that is literally the forefront issue, should be the forefront issue of everything. Um, and I know that sounds like a little bit post-apocalyptic, but that's the reality, man, because again, it's such a large issue that no one can really fully comprehend. And that's the biggest problem is that we're going to wait way too long. I mean, I would even argue that this election right now should be heavily weighted on, in, okay, here's another, my friend brought up a good point. He's like, it's not even about climate change, it's about the environment. Like everybody should care about taking care of the environment, man. It, whether or not you want to label it as climate change. It's just the environment. You can look around and see that the environment is absolutely getting fucked. Like that is just blatantly clear from every angle that you look at it. There's absolutely no way to deny that. Uh, and so I, I hope that if very least we can all start to come to a better consensus about how we can all just help the environment, right? It's forget climate change. It's it's just the environment, man, and we're we're destroying it. We're all we're all destroying it, and we're destroying it sometimes in the name of horribly irrelevant consumerism. You know, like new new watches and new clothes and you know these extravagant houses and stuff. And we're all guilty of this. I I think all that stuff is super cool. You know, and I bought some of that stuff before. You know, like I have a fairly new car. Um, I love cars. Part of the way I make money is is uh, through cars. You know, and so. We're all guilty of this, but the reality is that we're luckily in an era right now where we still have a little bit of time where we can make pretty small lifestyle changes and, and kind of like figure this stuff out. You know, like we, we have a lot of really smart people. We have a lot of really cool technology. And if we were able to just kind of come together a little bit more than we are right now, we're, we're way too divided right now. We were able to come together just a little bit more and all do a little bit to change our lifestyles that would be, and <laughs> the reality is that I don't believe this is going to happen, unfortunately, because the more realistic alternative is that we wait too long, and then we're all going to have to make pretty radical lifestyle changes. Um, but I hope that, you know, maybe all of us watching this video, you know, hopefully uh, maybe a couple thousand people, hope we can all at least come together, you know? I hope that I hope that that happens. That's kind of the point of this video. Like I said, um, next time you go to buy some Wizard 101 crowns, next time you go and honestly, Wizard 101 crowns isn't the worst way to spend your money. Um, it's better than buying clothes. Next time you go to buy clothes, right? Like I know if you're growing, if you're younger than me, if you have not full grown yet, I understand you have to buy clothes sometimes because they get too too big or too small or whatever. But maybe buy a little bit less because you're probably gonna grow out of those as well. Or if you're my age and you've stopped growing, like just don't buy clothes, man. I haven't bought clothes in like a year. 
that's kind of been one of the things I've, I've started to realize. I, I just, you need a lot less than you think, you know? And I understand that the reality is the global economy is a big part of this discussion and that's a whole other video. Regardless of the economy, we all as humans can survive on so much less than we currently are. All of us. So much less. Um, and nevertheless, be happy on that. You know, like I think one of the cool things about me being in college is like, I don't have that much money to like spend on stuff and it's not like my parents are like taking me out. Like I'm basically on my own, you know, and that's led me to be a lot more frugal with what I buy and what I do. But the reality is that I'm very happy, you know, and I've spent like comparatively very little money this summer and I've been like pretty darn happy, you know, like I have pretty much everything that I need. I don't need to do all this crazy stuff. I don't need to buy all this crazy stuff. And I, I think that we can all relate to that, you know. And I hope that, I don't know, I don't, I don't like to hope, you know, I like to do actions and I'm, I'm gonna continue um, this in some capacity, whether it's doing something on my vlog channel about this um, or continuing to make videos on this channel, something something I'm gonna do to, to kind of keep this up because it's, it's too important not to. It's absolutely too important not to talk about this all the time. I mean, this is like the only thing that really should be talked about um, in terms of, of future planning. And it's, it's just horrible to see that it's almost in the opposite direction right now. So I, I felt that it was it was just important to make this video. Um, and like I said, I, I hope that this, this isn't gonna be news to anybody, but nevertheless, I think it's very important that I that we talk about it, you know? Because um, it doesn't make it any less important if it seems like a cliche at this point. Um, it, it absolutely does not detract from the fact that the world is literally burning up um, and we are, absolutely doing so little about it so like i said guys um i'm gonna make more videos on this i i, I really do um i'm very passionate about this if you guys couldn't tell i think that everybody should be passionate about this this is not like a niche issue this is this is like the the future of the world <laughs> you know what i mean um and it's a bummer that it's it's still it still seems sometimes like a like, you know, like 10% 10, 10 of the world's attention or maybe 5%. You know what? Yeah, probably less than 5% of the world's attention when really it should be probably more like 70%. I don't really know what else to say. I hope this was interesting. Uh, I hope this kind of brought your attention back because we always hear about climate change. We get all riled up and then we get involved in other parts of our daily life. And I hope that I can bring your attention back to it a little bit. Um, and like I said, you know, a lot of us watching this video, we can make a difference and economics can definitely make a difference. Having, putting money into some of these uh, organizations that are working to, to build sustainable products and build a sustainable future like that, that money is much better spent on that organization, even if they have some overhead, than it is spent on a new Supreme sweater, all right? Like, I hope we all can agree on that. Um, and I think the sooner that, that we all start to realize that, the, the better, you know? I hope that at some, hopefully sooner than later, it becomes cool to like do stuff that, that's positive for the environment, you know? I hope it becomes cool to like not buy new clothes all the time. You know, like that's my, that's my hope that, especially with young people, like us as a generation, like we, this, this ultimately, regardless of what you wanna believe, this is, this is becoming our problem and we, as a generation are gonna be the ones who stand at the the point of basically no return, but we are the ones who are ultimately gonna to have to take on this great burden. Um, and I think we can do it. I think everyone, especially all of us, all of you guys watching this video, I think, I think we can all kind of understand each other. Um, and I, I hope so, I hope so. As <laughs> at very least, I hope that that's true. Um, hope that we can come together, you know, as a generation, hope that, I don't know, man, you know, and, and the reality is that like, a lot of us probably are going to be on the, the, the beginnings of, of the problems of climate change, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna be old by the time really bad things take root. But I hope that, you know, for our future generations, and just for like your moral consciousness, you can like make a few changes, you know, like I said, Donate a little bit of your crown's money to to a uh, organization that's protecting the rainforests. Eat a little bit less beef. Buy a little bit less clothes. Maybe don't run extra water when you don't need it. You know, like little things like that 
it's not going to make a difference in your life, but it's going to make a big difference in the planet if everyone does that, you know? So never feel like your small actions never have an impact because that is absolutely false. Um, and on that note, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I will, I'll be back at some point in some capacity with a follow-up to this video, um, and I hope it'll involve more action. But um, if you guys have any ideas, if you guys have any thoughts, please leave them in the comments down below. If you guys are watching this video, still make sure you go read the comments. I'm sure there's going to be some, some good stuff down there. So with all that said, guys, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Take care.